What's up, YouTube? It's thinking 2015. <clears throat> I got this laptop in the other day. It's an HP DV5. Um, I was told it had a blue screen, but it actually has a, uh, a video issue. So I'm looking on YouTube and I'm thinking about reflowing it myself. None of, never done it before, but it doesn't look too hard, so I was going to do it myself. But kind of looking for some feedback. I don't think I. I think I should just buy a new board for this one because let me show you what it's doing. Um, it's an HP DV5. It does the typical, the uh, typical video issue. No screen. Screen remains black. The two, uh, the uh, scroll number lock and the caps lock flash. Um, so this is first thing to me saying that there's a video problem. The uh, the other issue is this. When I power it down, see I have the. Uh, I have RAM in the top slot. If I put the RAM in the bottom slot and power it up, it does this. See if you can hear that, it's beeping. power it back down so it beeps in the second slot it doesn't beep in the first slot if I take the RAM completely out and power it up it should beep like it's supposed to different type of beep So my conclusion with this is that the second slot down at the bottom is no good. The first slot at the top is still good, but there's still a video issue. So the thing is I'm worried about is, is it even worth trying to reflow? Because um, reflowing just fixes the video issues. I don't think that the reflowing would have anything to do with the RAM, the RAM slots. Now I've already tried different RAM, I've tried different 512s, I've tried different 1 gigs, and I've tried different 2 gigs. All the same thing. So I'm pretty sure that that RAM slot is no good. So the question is that I have is people who are experienced with reflowing, if I reflow it, will they, uh, the top slot work and the bottom slot continue not to work? If I reflow it, will it fix the issue where they both work? or is it better for me to just buy a uh, buy a board swap it out not a brand new board buy a parts laptop with a good motherboard into it and sl swap it out uh... let me know comment on the video or send me a message in my inbox appreciate it